What's good, y'all? It's Icon back again to talk a little bit of The Flash. This uh, episode was very simple. It was very simple. Um, it start well, first off, Barry and Iris aren't in this episode. Well, they were there for like two seconds. They left because they were taking a much needed couple's retreat, you know, just to de-stress. Maybe this is how Iris gets pregnant, who knows? <laughs> so, um, Cisco's put in charge. He creates this computer algorithm thing called the Barry because um, Cisco's still trying to figure out how to be a leader, how to be in charge. And he figures out that he was like, you know, he programmed Barry's like, you know, all of Barry's missions, his thoughts, his thinking. He programmed everything into into the computer. And the Barry, it tells Cisco, like if Cisco has a question or a problem or something, it tells him what would Barry do. So he, he kind of like relies on that throughout the course of the episode when it comes to like taking down metas and doing other things. Him and Camilla are, I don't know if they're living together, spending the night in each other's apartment, um, but they're still a couple. And Cisco's having, he's sleepwalking. You know, like he woke up, he's like breach, he's like breach sleepwalking. <laughs> and he wakes up and you know, he's um he, like, he was about to cut his hair off. And then Camilla was like, yeah, you were sleepwalking the other day. And then he was like, why didn't you say anything? And she was like, I didn't think it was a big deal. So he thinks it's weird, but you know, he doesn't know what the situation, he doesn't know why, and he's just like, all right, whatever. Um, Breacher's back. Um, he comes, you know, he pops up, rolls up on Cisco and, Cam and, Cam and Camilla, and we find out that the reason why Breacher's back is because unfortunately, Gypsy's dead. And that's very sad because I, I like the actress who played Gypsy, but I guess she was, I guess she's done with the Arrowverse. So who knows, maybe we'll get a new Gypsy, but um, unfortunately, Gypsy's dead. Um, Cisco's hurt because obviously he was in love with her. And um, luckily for Camilla, she didn't, like, I'm glad they didn't do the whole Camilla getting mad, talking about like, oh, I can't compete with your dad. Camilla was actually very supportive of the whole situation. Like, she was very understanding and she was helping Cisco get through it throughout the entire situation. So Breacher asked Cisco to help him try to find out who Gypsy's killer is. Cisco goes in, you know, he does his little um, analyzation, you know, picks up his stuff. He basically, you um, know, he, he does the, um, he, he does like this weird like breach thing where he can project and see who the person is, like who the killer is. And he tells um, Breacher, he's like, hey, listen, you know, if we touch this machine or whatever and you know, hold hands, whatever, we can, we can go back and look at the entire situation. And then he was like, yeah, but then I'm gonna have to see Cynthia die. And then he was like, unfortunately, but in order to catch the killer, that's what we have, that's what we have to do. So they both, they both go to the, they both go back to this, they both, you know, magically go back to the spot where she died and then we come to find out the person that killed her was cisco and breacher immediately got pissed <laughs> and um you know and because even then like because breacher came to cisco because he was just like listen you know he needs vibes help and then camilla was like well he's not vibe anymore and then you know he was and then cisco was like yeah because i got rid of my powers and then breacher was like well you can't get rid of your powers and if you try to get rid of your powers aren't you worried about like you know, psychos and like psychosynosis or whatever. Cause it's basically like, if you try to suppress your powers, your powers will fight back. And when your powers fight back, it could cause you to do things like sleepwalking. So everyone just assumed that Cisco in his sleepwalking like trance went to, you know, went to earth 19, fought Camilla brought, you know, they came back to earth one and they killed Camilla. So Cisco was freaking out. And then Breacher told him, he was like, listen, out of respect, because I know it wasn't you. He was like, you know, you were sleepwalking, but you still did it. So he was like, out of respect, I'll give you a couple of hours to get your affairs in order, but then I'm coming back with my team and we're gonna arrest you because you did kill my daughter. So Cisco's freaking out. <laughs> He's trying to figure out, you know, what to do. And then he stops listening to the Barry and he comes up with his own idea. Breacher and the gang, they show up to arrest Cisco. Cisco locks them in, in Star Labs with a cube that says, listen, all the information about what happened to Cynthia is on that cube breach you know cisco goes back to you know he goes back to um i believe it was earth 19 it was either earth 19 or the spot where cynthia died so he goes back there he confronts the person who killed her and then come to find out the person that killed her it is cisco but it's cisco's doppelganger from earth 19 and he says that he was jealous he was just like listen like the cisco ramon from earth one is like the smartest one out of all of us the rest of us don't get you know didn't get that privilege and you know, he, you know, he, he was robbing and stealing. Cynthia went to take him down. And he said he purposely fought Cynthia and showed, you know, showed Cynthia his face because he, she, he knew that, because like, he knew that the two of them were together. And he knew that when she saw Cisco's face, she would hesitate. She did. And then that gave him the opportunity to kill her. He created a machine 
to give Cisco the daydreaming psychoanalyst thing to make Cisco think he was going crazy. He basically he basically tried to pin the whole thing on Cisco. And Cisco figured it out. The two of them get into a fight. He actually beats his doppelganger. Um, then the entire um, the entire breacher force shows up because they all heard the recording and everything. And they take down the doppelganger and they get Cynthia's actual killer. So Cisco actually played the bad guy. He played a very good bad guy in this episode too. You know, so when the episode was over, Cisco was just like, you know, this whole adventure taught me you know, how to be a leader, and it taught me about the confidence, and he's like, I don't need the Barry, and blah, 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 so Cisco's good in that regard, you know, Barry and Iris come back, and then, you know, they're just like, hey, listen, we can go to the funeral if you want, and then he's just like, nah, I think Camilla and I will do it, and I'm like, well, they were still friends of her, so they, <laughs> like, they should still come, but, you know, but anyway, so that's how, that's how it wraps up with, um, with Cisco, Camilla, Barry, and Iris, and, um, R.I.P. to, R.I.P. to Gypsy. Kate rolled up on, um, rolled up on Bloodsport, that didn't go well. He was like, Caitlin, join me. And she was like, no. And then he was like, all right, bitch. He's like, I'll grant you mercy this one time. And if you cross my path again, I would not hesitate to kill you. So that's how that ends. Third part of the episode, um, Wells is still underground, you know, trying to break into the monitor secret lair. Joe rolls up on him. He's just like, yo, I want to know what's going on. The two of them get into it. An explosion happens. They both get trapped under, you know, in the subway tunnels. They're sitting there having a conversation and Joe's just like, Team Flash will come. And then Wells is like, how do you know? You can't rely on anybody. You know, Joe gives him the rah-rah speech. And then Ralph ends up showing up and he say he basically saves both of them, um, brings both of them out. You know, they go back to Star Labs. You know, they're t it's Cisco, Caitlin, Ralph, Wells, and Joe. And then Joe's like, bro, like, what were you doing in the tunnels anyway? And then Wells is like, all right, fine come with me tomorrow morning and I'll show you what I was doing in the tunnels. And then they're just like, well, why? And he's like, because I know how to save Barry Allen from dying in the crisis. And that's how the episode ended. So we're going to find out. So Wells, <laughs> Wells has the master plan and he's going to come up with, he said he knows how to save Barry. And I'm pretty sure the entire team is on board with this. I don't, it's a question of whether or not they're actually going to tell Barry what well i mean they're, they're probably going to tell iris but i don't know if they're going to tell barry because barry seems gung-ho about dying and <laughs> if they tell him that wells knows a way to save him barry might try to stop him from doing it so but we'll see but we'll see if um we'll see if that happens and um yes yeah, so that's pretty much it so I, I'm, I'm guessing the monitor is going to show up in the next episode because they're going to try to bust through his door and when that happens um hopefully we'll get some more information about the crisis so that was my um, my flash review. Um, thank you for tuning in, guys. Like and or subscribe. Check out my other videos. And until next time, as always, I'm out.